How you pronounce your name, Scriber? Say that again, sir. You pronounce your name, Scriber? Yes, sir. Okay. Now you have the following rights and they will remain with you until this case is finished. You do have the right to represent yourself or if you choose, you may have a lawyer present. If you want a lawyer, you can't afford a lawyer. I will appoint a lawyer for you as long as you qualify for the assistance of court appointed counsel. You understand that, sir? Yes, sir. Have you hired someone to represent you? No, sir, I can't afford one. I'll appoint someone to represent you and that way you'll have someone present. You'll be in front of Judge Crawford and that will be on the 27th of this month. That will be at 830. And at that time, the lawyer that's been assigned to your case and the prosecutor will get a chance to talk with you about your file. And that way you'll get some idea of what's going to happen with your file. You understand that, sir? Yes, sir. Now, you do have the right to a trial in this case, and that trial can be by jury. Do you understand that? I understand, sir. If you did not want a jury trial, you have the right to have a trial in front of a judge without a jury, as long as the judge agrees to it and as long as the prosecuting attorney agrees to it. Do you understand that you have that right? Yes, sir. You also have the right to be presumed innocent of each one of the charges that I'm going to read to you. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. You have the right to have your guilt proven beyond a reasonable doubt. Do you understand that, sir? Yes, sir. Now, because you've been charged with a felony, you do have the right to have a probable cause hearing within 21 days from today's date. Now, for your information, that's a hearing where the prosecutor comes to court. They have to show that each one of these felony crimes was committed, and they have to show that you are the person that committed each one by virtue of that probable cause. Do you understand that you have the right to have that kind of a hearing within 21 days from today's date? Yes, sir. Are you presently on any kind of probation or any kind of parole status? No, sir, I am not. And you do have the right to have a bond set in your case. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. Now, this is why you are here. It says that as of the 15th of September of 2016, while in the city of Grand Blanc, Genesee County, State of Michigan, there are two counties. And count one says you did knowingly make a false report of an act of terrorism and did communicate the false report to another person in violation of Michigan state law. You are here charged with uh, making a false report or a threat of terrorism. Do you understand that? Yes, sir, I do. That's a felony offense where you face up to 20 years in prison and or a $20,000 fine and you have to re reimburse the government for any expenses incurred from this violation. You understand that penalty? Yes, I do, sir. Count two says you did knowingly make a false report of a violation or attempted violation and communicate or cause the communication of the false report to another person, knowing the report to be false in violation of Michigan state law. So there you, in count two, you're charged with making a false report for a threat of a bomb or a harmful device. You understand the charge? Yes, sir, I do. Now that's a felony offense where you face up to four years in prison and or a $2,000 fine, plus you'd be responsible for any cost to the government for responding to this false report. You understand that penalty? Yes, sir. I'll set your bond at $25,000. It can be a cash and surety bond, and that'll be on each count. 